Comedy Store tonight, it's a Comedy Store special with one of Australia's finest comedians, it's Mary McKenna! So yeah, I grew up in Brooklyn, New York. Lived there for about eight, nine years in New York City. I know, get a rope. Moved down to Florida for two years, moved back to New York City, then I moved out to San Diego. Lived there for six years, and I moved to Dallas for a year where I met a nice girl. Moved back to San Diego, whether we got married, we lived there for a year, now we live in East Texas. Doesn't everybody do that? People say, what would take you from New York City to Tampa, to New York, to San Diego, to Dallas, to East Texas? Witness protection program, of course. They'll never find me here, Christian comedy. <laughs> what else? <laughs> Sorry, I do that now and then. Hey, I bought a Nissan Versa. Anybody familiar with a Nissan Versa? It's like a pea pod with wheels. I am exaggerating. It's about this big. I put the whole family in there. It's great. Got a little door in the back. You can put your luggage in there. Got mom, me, my wife, two kids. That's a lot of fun to travel. You know, I had to learn how to get into my own car. They came with instructions. They looked like a sumo wrestler. I walk up to the car. <laughs> <laughs> Big man, little car, 35 miles to the gallon. <laughs> Hi, honey. Well, I'm a big man in a little car. Driving on a Saturday night. Reaching for a donut on the floor of the car. You know, I figure just for a red light. Well, my butt is really numb because I'm stuck in the seat. And I smell like chicken nuggets and I can't see my feet. Because I'm a big man bringing you the gospel tonight. Alright, so yeah, I'm a Christian comedian. People look at you like you have two heads when you tell them that you're a Christian comedian. I could be anything else, it wouldn't matter. If you're at a cocktail party telling people what you do for a living, you're like, a Christian comedian. Oh. I could be like, uh, hey, I'm a proctologist sandwich maker. They look at you, oh, that's nice. Is that good work? Yeah, yeah, it's good work. Been in a tight spot once or twice. Nothing a little salad dressing to get me out of. You know, for some reason, the whole Christian thing throws people off. They look at me like I'm a vegan at a hot dog eating contest, you know? Ooh. So, you know, the Lord's delivered me from a lot. He's delivered me from drug addiction, alcoholism, anorexia. Some things we see in faith, you know? <laughs> I told that story at an old black gospel church. I remember when I, I delivered that anorexia line, there's a little black lady in the front row. She just started fanning herself. She looked at me, anorexia, ooh, ooh, child, ooh, child. The Lord's done a mighty work, a mighty, mighty work. I was like, yeah, yes, he has. She just kept going, ooh, a mighty, mighty work. <laughs> it's not that funny, lady, okay?